permanent, temporary and situational disabilities. We all have them. Let's see why. You'll undoubtedly be aware that many people have a disability, visual, hearing, motor or even cognitive impairment. If you have none of these disabilities, you might think that you won't face the same issues that people with diverse accessibility needs face. Well, while it's true that you may not have to deal with the issues permanently, there are times when you may experience them on a temporary or situational basis. Let's deep dive into some examples. Temporary disabilities come and go. They aren't a permanent part of life. You may have vision issues temporarily when you develop cataracts or when you're recovering from eye surgery. A car crash may cause you to temporarily lose memory and dexterity. A temporary hearing loss may occur as a result of a bad ear infection. More common are situational disabilities. A situational disability is not a health condition, but due to the situation you find yourself in. You may not see well due to poor lighting conditions or have a hard time reading your phone screen in bright sunlight. You might not hear what your friends are saying to you in a crowded bar, and you might not be able to use both arms while you're carrying a bag of groceries or holding a baby. Your cognition may not be at its peak when you're distracted by a sudden sound, or you're tired or you're trying to multitask. Most of these situations are commonplace, and you will have experienced several of them in your own life. If you have difficulty relating to users with permanent and temporary disabilities while designing your product, ask yourself the following questions. For vision, can I read the contents of my app in the sunlight? Is the text large enough? Is the font clear? For hearing, could I still use my app in a noisy bar? Have I provided closed captions or transcripts for my video? For motor impairments, can I carry 10 pizzas in one arm and still use my app? Can I perform all the gestures in my app using only one hand? For cognitive impairment, when I'm really tired at the end of a long day, can I still understand and process the content of my app? Could I use my app in a busy, hectic environment? Do I need to concentrate hard to use the app? If you've answered yes to these questions, you're on track to create apps that are accessible for all users, regardless of their permanent, temporary and situational disabilities. You're on a roll. And next, you can double down by watching What Can Make or Break Someone's User Experience video. Thanks for making great accessible apps.